often as we once did. Yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty. But just getting out of the way of the uh, firefly itself is it's a two for one special. Yeah, but he, I don't I don't know if he's gonna be able to stand in CS down in this bottom lane mid lane. There is gonna be a rotation coming in. Arrow hits on the pie cap from Puppy, and they'll get the kill. Huge last raise from Ortiz. If he had missed that raise, he was out. Up from Zai looking for Nikwa. Doppelganger to get in front does not body block with the illusions. Oh man, the the, the skill cap. Meanwhile, Top. Loda arrow is gonna connect from downtown and snipes him out. He goes down. S4 has clap and five. Kroki has fade bolt and one. They don't need it. The right click. This game so far is a disaster, and Secret are giving it to Alliance right now. Puppy gives that he like he could spam out the spells. Bottom lane, Zai getting chased down. Nikwa does have a haste room. That's huge. Zai should probably fall. He already used his doppelganger. He's gonna stick up. He'll spirit lance might take down Nikwa with him. He's gonna bottle up. He'll survive that last tower hit. Not gonna do it. There's gonna be another one. He's gonna set a 27 HP. He will survive getting that kill. Finally, Alliance get up. Still get Ake. Yep, they're gonna get Ake. And telekinesis. They don't even need the arrow. We already talked about it. Fade Bolt, you talked about the telekinesis big ability. And Loda's right clicking Kuroki, but until he gets that level six, his damage is minimal. Now with this visage. Yeah, they have the last one out. It's level six. Ake has his soul assumption. This should be an easy kill. He's going to use his doppelganger. They got to find the right one. That's it. Grave Chill's going to go and uh, he's going to fall. Spirit Lance goes, does a bit of damage. And that's a really good rotation from Ake securing that kill without it. Last one is crushing it right now. Arrow. Lean arrow onto Loda again. S4's got to come in with a clap. Nice match miss on the Kroki. The Gust as well. Might save his life for a bit longer, but Telekinesis or Fade Bolt should go out. They don't even need it. The right click, the 58 damage from the Rubik is enough. Zai taking a lot of damage bottom. Grave chilled up. He stays alive. He already uses Doppelganger. He'll bottle up and they're not going to die for the kill. They're afraid of TP rotations coming in from the rest of the squad. Snowball. And actually, here comes Kroki through the trees. This, this might be a fail. too aggressive. Yeah, and they're going to throw up the telekinesis. They're going to throw up the split. Matt's trying to kill Kuroki on his own. He might get it done. Ake rotates in. Maybe to his death, they cyclone up Loda. And Ake is probably just going to die to the boulder toss here. The right click of the flame pan. An easy kill coming out. Meanwhile, Arteezy rotates up. They blow up Matt. He's looking for more. They're looking for Loda still. S4, no blink dagger. He clapped. They have drunken haze. No, doesn't have it. But RTZ has the haste rune. There's going to be the one raise. Will they get in close enough for a second one? The right click coming through. Clap comes out. They don't need the second raise. S4 gets a double kill. And they get it done. They're going to take this tower more than likely as well. RTZ, not only is he getting free farm, but he's feeding on heroes as well. This man is fat. You look at his net worth. He's 5,000. They're playing really well. That was a really kind of questionable... Um... I think decision from the Venge to try to pursue that kill onto Rubik. He knew that he had stick charges. Oh, Zai, what he a shackle had spell coming up. Cat. Zai should be dead. He does have doppelganger power shot goes. He doesn't avoid it. Yeah, okay. seems like a bit of a waste of the smoke. I, he had his blink dagger. You could have just waited for that, but jumping the gun there, unfortunately, and going to miss out on some kills. Yeah, it looks like Nikwa might be in trouble. He could fire fly to the high ground here, but he's going to yields up. Uh, Arrow's going to sail through as well. It actually, he misses it. And well, they're going to raise him anyways. Still, nice play. Telekinesis onto Pycat. He does have Windrun using it. Shackle Shot doesn't latch onto Puppy. Requiem getting canceled. Arteezing only gets off the secondary raise as he dies, but they do get the kill onto the Windranger. But that is a big pickup for Pycat. He got that kill before he died. That is a lot of gold, I'm sure. Up to 1,000 now. Top lane now. Top lane S4 is alone. Blink Clap's gonna go Gust. He doesn't get it off in time. Loda's about to fall again. S4 is on a killing spree. Every hero in Secret is on a roll. They're going to work. He might even get mad as well. The boulder toss coming through. S4 microing like a god. This guy might as well be a StarCraft player. Can't get the kill. Now he's gonna get lassoed. Actually in trouble. He has the Drunken Brawler. He also has a stout shield, might not be tanky enough though. He's got sticky napalm stacks, big crit coming out. Gets the kill onto med, S4 does go, he does end up falling, but he gets two kills in the process. And uh, I mean, it trades all over the place and it feels like almost secret spelt, but is giving up a couple of free ones. That was a really weird interaction there between RTZ with the Yules. Here comes the arrow as well, it does hit this time. But they don't want to fight into this. There's so many heroes for Alliance. So Ortiz has to back up the Frost Arrow is going. He's going to try to Requiem. Moonlight Shadow's going to go. And Matt is in trouble. But there's the Soul Assumption. He's not dead yet. Raze doesn't kill Ake. Power Shot snipes him down. Ortiz does get the double kill with the secondary raise. Nikwa and Loda both low. But 
Well, we might actually have some cleanup. S4 on the hunt, but they've already backed up a line Say no, we don't want any... See Pycat bounce back uh, very nicely. Up to level 13, actually. He's the highest in the game. Yeah, a little will not be so lucky. He's on level 8. The arrow does miss. Not that it's, it, it doesn't matter. Zai is able to secure that kill. That'll get him a bit more farm. They get Arteezy's blink dagger. Did that arrow actually hit Mad? It did. Are you kidding? The spirit lights, they're going to get two out of this. They really shouldn't have. Mad should have been able to back up, but he got hit by that arrow, who I mean, probably was not aiming for that in any stretch. And he still gets the double kill for Zai. You got to be kidding me. Oh, nice tackle shot. They get the big kill. Arteezy's actually died a lot recently, but now S4 is alone. Rotation's down bottom. They're going to try to help out their teammate. Pycat heading out. They want to cycle him. Can they get it off in time? Boulder Toss, long range. He did win run. The Spirit Lance, the arrow connects as well. Pycat still in trouble. Clap goes through. Pycat finally goes down. The big nuisance to Secret. And they will get a pretty solid kill. Maybe even the uh, Familiars as well. They're about to be out of Stone Gaze. Or Stone Form, rather. Phantom Rush, they don't go for it. S4 right now. Yeah, the Venge, uh, she might die again. She does get six finally, but uh, she will have to pay with her life for it. Uh, she will fall. Puppy still Moonlight Shadowed. Meanwhile, top lane, Arteezy blows up Loda. Pimp, that was his first miss kill. He was so upset, and he's been doing such an amazing job. Constantly alerting us to the action. Piecat, Shackle Shot's going to connect the air. What? Just misses Piecat, and Piecat had a DD. Able to get the kill easily as for the birds going through. They can still fight if they would want to. Piecat going to get Spirit Lance. He does have Wind Run. He's got a Power Shot again. Get some vision. See what's going on. Decides not to fight, realizing that two of his heroes are down. Loda going down again, though, to Arteezy, and that is just... Loda is having one of those games. They're going to jump in. They're going to lasso on to Kuroki. They're going to keep him on the cliff. Arrow sailing through, missing completely. That was kind of a whiff. Shackle shot doesn't connect. Kuroki still going to go down to the right click, and that's actually two big kills coming out from the side of the lines. And also, by the way, Puppy's pretty low. They're chasing after Zai. He has doppelganger. He's going to use it quickly, and they're going to swap out Piecat. He is going to get stunned, though, from the boulder toss. Long range, bad arrow, not going to connect. Zai still on the hunt. Spirit Lance is available. They're going to use it. He should fall. Boulder Toss onto Piecat again. They'll chase after them. Matt is about to fall. Zai can't get there in time. Big Cyclone coming in from S4 once more. The clap comes in. No, it was just the, the crit, actually. But now, actually, the Frost Arrows, the Power Shot. The slow was enough. The Firefly also doing a heck of amount of damage. Zai in some trouble. He's going to have his almost as defusable, but he will not go down. We'll take care of some of these illusions. And finally, the first semblance arrow. of a good fight. Oh, Ooh, that arrow just missed on to Loda. But the first good fight for a line. Start from Niqua this game. Um, there is that potential. There's a Moonlight Shadow here. I You're going to head to Roche. Oh, no. My cat he's got Requiem, uh, too. He's in trouble. Requiem could go. He's going to use it now. Pycat does avoid a lot of that damage. He's got a power shot. Arteezy blinks the cliff, misses the first raise. Roche still very low. Pycat might die to Roche if he's not careful. He will finally bring it oh, down. Oh, no! Down to Roche on. Arrow coming in. Nikwa takes the Aegis, though. And he's in some trouble. He does have Firefly. Zai going to work on the mad. That's a nice, I guess, kill. They've already killed three on the backside as they've gotten a couple. Ake gonna just get forced away by Niqua. He's gonna get Hightail it out of there. He's got his Firefly up. Ake looking for the Soul Exception. He'll find it onto S4. They're gonna back away. Niqua and the rest of the squad lose three in the process, although Pycat goes down to Roche, but they do get slow, but uh, maybe if we walked up. Oh, what a lasso so this on could be Arteezy in trouble. Doesn't have a BKB. He does have a Yule's loaded. Does get arrowed. Power shot going into Arteezy. He's so low. Soul Assumption will secure the kill. Requiem doing no damage. Zai jumps in. Doppelganger's way. Ake will probably fall. Meanwhile, Pycat getting telekinesis. Zai gets a double kill. His illusion army going to work. There's so many units. The micro is real. Pycat win run in three seconds. He's going to have to use it if he wants to survive. And he'll pop it off. He might get to the high ground and stay alive. I'm up in the air. It's going to be Batrider. Cycloned up. And actually, Pycat surviving. Buyback coming in from Loda. But what can he do? Another Spirit Lance onto Niqua. Niqua getting chased down. Power shot, I think, just clipping Zai. He's going to get caught out by the familiars. Arrow's going to miss. Puppy, not a point. Shackle shot at Zai. Doesn't latch. Doppelganger's away. Stays alive. Spirit Lance could be there. Kuroki stole Focus Fire. Not exactly the damage ability he wants. So back away. They lose RTZ. They get a couple of kills in the process. I think they only got Loda. And they'll smoke and Moonlight out. Power shot's not oh, coming wow. from Pycat. Just the tip, and they get the kill onto poor Zai, who thought he was alive for sure. This could be very risky. We'll see. It's daytime for... Um...
I guess two more minutes, so it's not going to be... Arrow, it's going to hit Pycat. He is in trouble. Requiem's going to go. Nope. Instead, he raises. They will get the kill. No, he win runs just in time, but he does get right-clicked. Connect to Niqua. Yule's first. They're going to back away. Mads on the backside. RTZ sees him. He's going to get magic missile. RTZ has no blink. He's already used it. He's going to get lasso back. Familiar's doing a lot of work to clap, but RTZ's dead again. He has six deaths this game. Despite how fast of a start he might have had, he's got a free to get away. And they will get the air, I believe, on demand. The clap's going through as well, but it's just not enough. The fade ball coming through. What a mech from Ake. They're turning the fight around. Two dead. Zai nowhere near to fight. Kuroki on his broom, flying around as the bat rider, but he'll go down as well. Nikwa gets a. Uh, the dominating first ulti, I, I would think that it would be devastating if he can just get someone in a shackle. Like, watch this. If he grabs him right here with a Wind Ranger ulti, it's going to hurt him so much. As for Jesus, goodbye. Wow. Oh my god, you weren't kidding. Hurt him so much is an understatement. More like kill him dead. Goodbye, S4. He has a stout shield still. No, it's just the Ogre Club, but he does also have Drunken Brawlers, so that's something. If Pykek can must the last eight seconds, plus the Doppelganger illusion, they're also eight seconds, so... Oh. Oh, this might be an easy kill for Artizi. Only does like half of his health, and now Pycat's gonna turn it on. The Mjolnir's gonna go. The Spirit Lance, the clap. He almost gets Artizi, but the entirety of Secret gang up on him. And did. So if these uh, familiars go down, that's a big part of their damage gone. And Zai's gonna move right up to the high ground again. He has the Aegis. They don't care if they bait him out. He doppelgangers. Meanwhile, BKB's popped in the back lines, I think. Oh, an arrow. BKB's. Arrows do connect onto Pycat. He's gonna get swapped out. There's the BKB. The Bruise still has it up. He's also split up. Nikwa BKB. He gets the last one to RTZ. They can't get any damage. The tier three gone. Kuroki getting right click, but Pycat is already dead. He'll have to buy back Zai. Now surrounds Loda. He doesn't know where to go. And he just dies under the shadow the tier 4 tower. Pycat gets Spirit Lance. Zai is a devil kill. RTZ low in life, but Ake in trouble. Blink forward. Ake's gonna fall. Three dead, four dead. 105 seconds. That'll be it. Neek with the only surviving member of Alliance. What a disaster it's turned into in these last couple of minutes. They've been down the entire game. They will finally call GG, but Secret just overwhelmed them. Zai getting an ultra kill at the end of the game because... He was super farmed. He took over. They said, screw you, RTZ. We don't need you, buddy. We got Zai. We got the next best thing. And uh, he turned out to be quite the force for Secret.